McDowell County it's, probably has the, the longest history in that region of, of coal mining. And it's where more coal has come from than, than any other county in the southern counties. Um, so there are lots of remnants there, of, um, coal camps, uh, company stores, uh, where, where there wasn't a lot of development, so those things kind of stayed in those counties. Wyoming and McDowell counties are both rich in coal history and rich in heritage. And when you're visiting the Wyoming County and McDowell County areas, there's a great variety of things to do. One of the uh, uh, greatest facilities in southern West Virginia, Wyoming County, McDowell County particularly, is the Hatfield McCoy Trail. Uh, it's, uh, it's a really uh, interesting ATV activity. The uh, Hatfield McCoy Trail covers several counties and has uh, several hundred miles of, uh, of trail. The riding that we have here in southern West Virginia is some of, if not the best riding across the country. And we know this because our riders tell us so. Everything from extreme trails that the more advanced riders enjoy to easy trails and intermediate trails. So whether you're a beginner in the sport and you're looking to go out and ride the trails for the scenic views, or your more advanced rider, the Hatfield McCoy Trails has something for everybody. Twin Falls State Park is one of the little secret spots in southern West Virginia, I say. It's a beautiful place in Wyoming County. It's tucked away very near uh, Pineville. It's a fantastic place to stay. Twin Falls is a resort state park, and that means that we have a, a lodge, 47 rooms in our lodge. We have uh, 14 cottages. We have a championship 18-hole golf course. Uh, campground with 50 campsites. Uh, we have uh, picnicking, pic picnic shelters, uh, hiking trails, 26 miles of hiking trails. We have a restored Pioneer Farm. The, the people in Wyoming County are wonderful, open, friendly, warm, hospitable people by nature. And once people come to Twin Falls, they come back because of that. And when they come back, they feel like they're back visiting the family again. The Coal Heritage Trail runs through um, uh, McDowell County and Wyoming County. Um, and a spur of that Coal Heritage Trail takes you down to Colwood, which is the home of the Rocket Boys. And then um, as you head over the mountain, you go to Welch. You know, it was, it was called the Little Chicago at one point. There were so many people that lived there. Um, lots of activity, lots of commerce. Of course, all that's gone down now since, um, you know, with the declining coal, but um, it's still a fascinating little town. And of course, the, the really awesome thing in downtown Welch are the murals. Um, there's a series of murals that start on the McDowell Wyoming County line and um, then there are more as you get into town that really tell a beautiful history of the region and with art. As you travel the Coal Heritage Trail through, through Wyoming and McDowell counties, um, you're going to go through little towns like Mullins, which was primarily a railroad town. That's what it was known for. The town of Pineville, um, uh, you can find some services there, some restaurants and those kind of things. One thing that you'll see is not only the beautiful uh, lay of the land that we have here in southern West Virginia, Wyoming and McDowell counties, but the people were wonderful. And for me, West Virginia is home and it always will be. I would have to say it's probably the most relaxing vacation you'll have and there's something for everybody. There are trails, there's the extreme sports, there's the gentler hikes that, that we like, there's the history, the culture, there's something for everybody in the entire family. So if you want to take a family vacation with all the generations coming, this is the place to come.